In this tip, I'm going to show you how to make a control chart. A control chart is a graphical tool to help you measure whether a process is consistent over time. It's basically a line chart that tracks a series of points collected at different intervals. And it contains three components. One is an average line, and then you have a distribution band on either side of that reference line to represent the number of standard deviations you want to use as your control limit. The next step then is to identify the outliers and mark those so that they're obvious for your readers. Here's how you build it. First off, this is the data set we're going to be looking at. It contains a sample of measurements for a company that manufactures flour. And we can see the filling amounts for each of the samples. We want to look at this data and turn it into a control chart. In the end, this is the chart we're going to build. You can see we have our average line, our distribution band, and then we're identifying the outliers. When you first bring this data set in, notice how Tableau has made the sample a measure because it read it in as a number, but we want it to be a continuous dimension. Drag sample up to the dimensions, right click on it, and make it continuous. Let's drag that to our columns. This is going to be our sequential field. Drag the filling weight to the rows. And then let's go ahead and zoom in this axis. Right click on the axis and choose Edit Axis and uncheck the Include Zero option. Now we want to add in our average reference line. Go to the Analytics pane and drag on an average line for the table for the sum of the filling weight. Now we want to bring in our upper and lower control limits. Let's do that by dragging on a distribution band for the table for the sum of the filling weight. In the computation, click on the value, and we want to choose standard deviation, and we want it to be within two standard deviations. So type in minus two, comma two. Let's turn off the labels, and I'm going to turn on the lines, and untick the recalculate option. Click on OK. And here we can see that we have our distribution band and we can see a couple of points that are going above or below those lines. Now we need to calculate the values for the upper control limit and the lower control limit. To do that, let's create a new calculated field. Call this one UCL. Our calculation is the window average of the sum of the filling weight plus two times the window standard deviation of the sum of the filling weight. That's going to give us the value for the upper line. Click on OK. Duplicate that calculation. Edit the copy. Call this one LCL for lower control limit. All we need to change is the plus to a minus. So this is going to give us the bottom of the distribution band. Click on OK. Now we want to identify the marks that are outside of our distribution band. Create a new calculated field. And let's call this one outliers. Our calculation is if the sum of the filling weight is greater than the UCL or the sum of the filling weight is less than the lower control limit, then we want to return the value, which is the sum of the filling weight, and then end. Click on OK. Drag that to the right hand side to make it a dual axis. Right click on it again and choose Synchronize Axis. And you can see now we've got really small marks on those points that are the outliers. On the Outliers Marks card, change the mark type from Automatic to a circle. And I'm going to go to the All Marks card and remove measure names. Now we want to color code those marks on whether they're above or below our distribution band. To do that, we're going to leverage the Outliers calculation we already created. Right click on Outliers and choose Duplicate. Edit the copy. Let's call this our status. So we're going to say here, if the filling weight is above the UCL, then we want to call this our above threshold. Else if the sum of the filling weight is below the lower control limit, then we want to call it below threshold else it is within the threshold. Click on OK, and on the Outliers Marks card, 
drag our new status field to the color shelf. And you can see now we have three colors on the right hand side. We've got a blue for above, an orange for below, and a red for within. Now there's no red marks in the view because we told Tableau to only bring back those circles when we're outside of the threshold. From here, it's a bunch of formatting and that's all there is to it. You've now created a control chart in Tableau.